Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Libras. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Libras, listen, Libras, I have one question to ask you. What or who is stopping you from living a life of luxury? Who or what? Let's talk about it. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Libras as it relates to every area of their life, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my romantic, charming, great listeners, fair-minded, idealists, understand that all these cards that popped out, we're going to leave them right there, understanding, cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, social scales of justice your ruling planet is venus what information do we have for my amazing libras we're going to put these right here we're going to be talking about the number 12 on today because we're about 11.9 or 11.8 days away from the next full moon which is exciting right we're not even at our first quarter moon which means that even though the moon is a waxing crescent moon we're still experiencing new moon energy okay still experiencing that new moon energy all right, here we have the Seven of Cups, mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles, mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles, lots of money, Six of Cups. All right, let me see if I can make some room here. Six of Cups, mm -hmm. we have the Ten of Cups, mm -hmm. we have the Two of Wands, mm -hmm. we have the Knight of Cups, mm -hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Wands. I already know how this is coming out. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Queen of Wands. Now listen, you all are air signs, right? You're able to see things on both sides of the scale. You are a divine masculine sign, but your ruling planet is divine feminine. You are great at being able to see both sides of the scale. Okay? Venus is the goddess of love and beauty, right? Venus rules pleasure, social pursuits, art, adornment. Its influence also is inclined towards um, the love of luxury, right? So you should be living a life of luxury. You got I'm going to come back with this question. What or who is blocking that? Is it something in you? Is it fear? Is it doubt? I can tell you exactly what it is. It's people around you. Some of y'all have some energies around you. It could be a fire sign or fire signs. It could be lower vibrating Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius around you. Where it just really conflicts with your energy. It doesn't mean it's their sun sign. It could be their moon, rising, Venus, somewhere in it. But they're jealous. They have issues. But, but okay, let's take it a step deeper. It comes out as jealousy. It comes out as... Uh, um, it comes out in many different forms, but the truth of the matter is that what's happening is that they have unresolved issues, right? And Libras, you all being cardinal signs, meaning you're initiators, you really all, you really can initiate cutting certain people out of your life, right? Because even though they've tried to burn you, they end up burning themselves. It's actually blocking the release of multiple streams of income. A lot of times people think, well, if I just ignore them, they'll just go away. Not necessarily, right? Not necessarily. I'm looking at at least eight streams of income for you right here. I see you traveling. I see you being more conservative with your money. See how this person is holding on to their wallet, being more conservative with your money. I'm talking to both men and women here, by the way. All of you all are givers by default. You don't want to give another ounce of your energy to people who have an issue with them, unresolved issues with themselves, and it comes out on you as being jealous, envious, all sorts of things, right? And I see you looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to your money. So listen, when you remove these types of energies, and they end up, they do take care of themselves. They end up harming themselves. Let me put it this way. They end up harming themselves because every time they come up against you to try to burn you, they actually end up burning themselves. But nevertheless, they are a distraction. So who or what is distracting you from living the life of luxury? Yeah, that's what you got to ask yourselves, right? Some of you all have absolutely been bitten by snakes in your own family, right? But it was in an effort really to wake you up. See the snake right here? It was in an effort to wake you up. <clears throat> when I say internal conflict, the person could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart as well. When I say that they have internal conflict, 
unresolved, let me just say this, unresolved internal conflict that's been affecting you, their behavior is so distracting that would it, it would give the... Some of them have been dangerous. Some of them have been venomous. Like they were really out to kill you. Like kill your dreams, you know, distract you literally to death, the whole nine yards. But some of them were not venomous. And it was sent to you to bite you, to wake you up, to say, okay, you can't trust your entire family. All, all of them can't be trusted. Some of them really are harmless, but nevertheless, you still got to cut them off too. Because in a sea of venomous and non-venomous snakes, you don't really know who's who. You just running for the hills. You're like, oh my God, I see a snake. I see snakes. And so it causes you to not trust yourselves, Libra. So you all, like I said, the, the scales of justice. And your card has not popped out. But let me tell you. So having these types of energies all around you, who you don't know who you can trust and who you can't trust, absolutely blocks your money. It blocks your money. Because again, you all, like I said, very fair-minded, great listening, I mean, great listeners. You want everything around you to be harmonious, but this is how you create as creators. We are all gods, meaning we are creators. This is how you create harmony and inner peace all around you. As you start looking at some people in your own family, <laughs> like seriously, some of those people come off as like really nice and sweet in the whole nine yards, but they have unresolved internal conflict and it's, it's rubbing, it's causing friction in your household is causing friction with you to be out of balance and out of harmony and it's absolutely affecting your money absolutely affecting your money and guess what once those people once you walk away from those people you you leave that situation guess what the universe is going to do replace it with new energy energy can come in the form of money it can come in the form of feeling like you have extra time added to your life so now all of a sudden you have this childlike exuberance and it can come in the form of um um, like I said, energy, money, and time, right? But I see so many prospects moving forward for you all in every area of your lives. Why? Because you initiate as a cardinal sign, you're an initiator. You're like, listen, I'm not compromising. Um, I'm not sacrificing, excuse me. I'm not sacrificing anymore. I know what type of life I deserve. I'm, I'm cutting out all the people in my life. I've seen, I've heard enough. I know, I know too much. It's time for me to start cutting. It's time for me to start cutting some people out of my life. Because your soul, your energy is sword energy. That's air. That's you, Gemini, Aquarius. It's air. That's sword energy, right? So I'm getting that sword and I'm just cutting some people out of my life. I know you don't like me. I know you got some issues. Whether, whether I know whether you hurt me intentionally or unintentionally, like I said, venomous or non-venomous snakes, it doesn't matter. I need to cut you out of my life because it's a distraction. It's distracting me away from other energies the universe is trying to send my way. So yes, I see new soul tribe. I see more money. I see travel. I see all sorts of things for you all. And I see you being victorious in this because you're finally saying, hey, listen, who would be the best person to see things from both sides of the coin? Libra. That's why people get frustrated with you all when it seems like you all are being indecisive because they're like, okay, you know both sides. Okay, decide. Make a decision about some things. This is right here. It's saying make a decision. Some of those bridges need to be burned. Some of those relationships need to be completely cut off. But I'm telling you, it's in your family. It's in your family. It's in your family. Let's talk about the number 12 for just a second. Let's talk about the number 12 for just a second. Number 12. So um, 12, when you reduce 12 to the single digit, is three, right? But number 12. So means that you are selected. You have selected a life of service um, being invented, excuse me, being invested and education on every level from physical to spiritual it also means that you are highly creative and you must be able to express yourselves it also means that you are naturally affectionate and loving and you strive to make the world a better place in which to live right so again this is right in alignment the number 12 is right in alignment with what i'm saying here we are all creators. We create the life that we want. No more holding space for disruptive, manipulative, backbiting people in your life. And it doesn't matter why they're doing what they're doing, Libra. Just know this. It is time to nix them so that the universe can release more energy to you. And I mean good energy to you. Yeah. Energy work. <laughs> this, is why I like to, this is why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you. Energy work. 
Get your chakras aligned from your crown chakra down to your root chakra and back up and complete in total alignment. You'll be able to see exactly who it is and you'll start making some making some changes. Yes, those people end up burning themselves, but this is where you really can't be passive about it and say, well, you know, it's going to take care of itself. They're going to end up burning themselves or, you know, or they're creating their own karma. Yes, that is true. They are creating their own karma. But in this instance right here, it is really hindering the flow of what the universe is trying to send to you just trying to help that's what i have for you libras have a fantastic day but then again i know you will because that's the intention you set bye